When we use the suffix raptor in relation to the names of dinosaurs, we tend to imagine a certain type of animal. Velociraptor perhaps comes to mind first, a lithe, slender, small carnivore, part of the Dromaeosauridae family. The suffix itself actually translates to thief, denoting a sneaky creature that could quickly dart in and out of the shadows. In fact, nearly all of the animals found throughout the Mesozoic that we deem to be raptors tend to fit this model. Everything from the tiny, gliding microraptor to the bizarre oviraptor, unrelated to the dromaeosaurs. Even the very biggest of the raptors, Dakota raptor and Utah raptor, pale in comparison to the larger theropods of the Mesozoic. You might be surprised then to learn about a certain animal to lend its name to the raptor title, Gigantoraptor. Towering high above any of its relatives or namesakes, this scenic gnathid dinosaur, unrelated to the likes of Velociraptor and Utahraptor, was a colossus of the Iran Dabasu formation. Discovered in what is now the Gobi Desert of Inner Mongolia, this was one of the largest animals to occupy the sands and plains of Asia in the late Cretaceous, around 96 million years ago. A true oddity of the dinosaur world, there is much to cover about its discovery, lifestyle, paleo environment, and more, and we will be delving into all of these in today's video. This is a journey that will take us back through time to meet one of the strangest theropods ever to walk the Earth, Gigantoraptor, the giant thief of ancient Inner Mongolia. By far, Gigantoraptor is the largest known member of the Scenignathidae family, as well as the wider Oviraptorosaur clade. Typical oviraptorosaurs are slender, feathered animals, typically depicted as chicken-like in color and form. But Gigantoraptor has been estimated as measuring a colossal 8 meters from head to tail. It was over 3 and a half meters tall at the hip, and with its head reared up in the air would have reached much taller. The largest land animal today, the African bush elephant, typically measures a little over 3 meters tall at the shoulder, which should give you an idea of just how massive these dinosaurs were. Oviraptorosaurs are known to typically reach a length of between 1 or 2 meters, depending on the species, with the exception of Gigantoraptor and the more recently discovered Bebe Long, which was certainly the second largest oviraptorosaur at 7.5 meters. Prior to the discovery of Gigantoraptor, the largest known oviraptorosaur was Sidipati, also known from Cretaceous Mongolia. When it was described, Gigantoraptor was estimated to measure three times the length of Sidipati and was 35 times heavier, possibly weighing one and a half metric tons in total. Like all oviraptorosaurs, Gigantoraptor would have walked on two legs although these would have been pillar-like in comparison to those of its relatives. It possessed a deep body and relatively short tail, the bones within which were hardened. Its arms were long for an oviraptorosaur and would have been adorned with feathers. Due to the sheer size of the animal, it has been suspected that Gigantoraptor might not have been fully covered in feathers as overheating could have been a serious issue for such an animal in the desert. As such, the feathers may have run down parts of the neck, torso, tail, and arms, but the rest of the body may have been bare. The animal's neck curved upward in an S-shape and was particularly long for a theropod, at the end of which was situated a bizarre visage. Like its relatives, Gigantoraptor's skull was short and deep, and its toothless mouth was encased in a tough beak, which likely would have covered the majority of the front half of the face. Only the lower mandible of the skull is known, but like other oviraptorosaurs, it may have possessed a solid crest or cask atop its head, 
giving it a superficial resemblance to a modern-day cassowary. Gigantoraptor was discovered in a bizarre stroke of luck in 2005 by a Chinese paleontologist by the name of Zhu Jing. Zhu is massively accomplished in the field, and due to the huge number of intact dinosaur fossils that have been discovered in his native country, he currently holds the record for the highest number of fossils named and described by any living paleontologist. Some of the most well-known and important dinosaur fossils have been key parts of his life. His repertoire includes Guanlong, Incisivasaurus, Mei, Microraptor, Yi, Sinornithosaurus, Eutyrannus, and many others. Gigantoraptor's discovery ties in with that of a sauropod discovered by Zhu, known as Sonidosaurus, which lived in the same place and at the same time as the giant Oviraptorosaur. In 2005, a Japanese television company had commissioned Zhu to recreate the discovery of Sonidosaurus to be aired on a documentary about paleontology. Zhu agreed and returned to the site where the sauropods were initially discovered in 2001. Eventually, he discovered a thigh bone from what he believed to be Sonidosaurus until he cleaned and inspected it closely. Upon further study, this was not a sauropod, but an unidentified gigantic theropod dinosaur and one that demanded closer research. Further fossil material was discovered at the site including a mandible, vertebral bones, shoulder blades, bones from the upper and lower arms, pelvic bones, and parts of the legs. As it stands, this is the only known material to have definitely come from a gigantoraptor. A lower jaw that has been attributed to a giant Cynignathid dinosaur was discovered by Takanobu Tsuihiji in 2015 which is very similar in form to the one discovered by Zhu Jing in 2005, but it has not yet been determined which genus it belongs to. Some paleontologists are confident it belongs to a gigantoraptor, in which case there would be two known individuals. Only this one came from the Bayan Shire formation in southern Mongolia, extending the dinosaur's range slightly. Two years later, Zhu described and named his monumental find, Gigantoraptor earlyanensis, a huge Cynignathid oviraptorosaur dinosaur. While Gigantoraptor translates to giant thief from Latin, earlyanensis means from earlyan, a reference to the earlyan basin within the sonid left banner of Inner Mongolia, where the fossil was found. After it was formally described, the fossil was mounted and housed at the Longhao Institute of Geology and Paleontology to commemorate the exceptional discovery. One feature of Gigantoraptor that has fascinated paleontologists since the mandible bone was discovered was the presence of an entirely toothless beak the question being how did it use it to feed, and what did it feed on specifically? Gigantoraptor had the deepest and toughest beak amongst all known Cynignathid dinosaurs, and is thought to have moved its jaw back and forth whilst eating, as a 2017 study from Wysam Ma and colleagues found. The depths of the jaws could point towards the animal possessing a huge tongue, which may have been used to move and process any food it ate. The back and forth motion within the jaws is thought to have helped the beak act as a giant shearing device, cutting through its prey like one long, flat knife. It would seem that such a device was best suited to chopping through tough, desert plant matter. Hence, the lack of teeth, which would be worn down by wear and tear over time. It may also have used its sharp beak to snatch small animals, or feed from the kills of other predators, but this has not been confirmed. The shape of the beak suggests that Gigantoraptor wasn't picky, 
and could have fed on a variety of different plants across ancient Central Asia. Its range would have covered a variety of different environments, and to be able to traverse all of them and still eat the available food there would have been a great advantage to the species' success. Scenic nathids and oviraptorosaurs in general are also closely associated with their nests. In fact, gigantoraptor nests were discovered before the actual dinosaur was, and were previously assigned to the genus Macroelongato olithus, what scientists refer to as an O species, a fossil animal that is known only from its eggs, one that cannot reliably be identified until more fossil material is found. With the bones of Gigantoraptor secured, scientists could finish the puzzle and associate these nests with the newly discovered scenic nathod. The nests in general contain up to 30 eggs laid in a circle. The eggs were laid in pairs, a result of the mother's two oviducts, allowing for simultaneous laying, and were placed in a hollowed out area of the earth. The mother Gigantoraptor was always careful to include a large space in the middle of the nest, on which she could sit to incubate her eggs without crushing them. This way the arms could be stretched out over the nest, covering all the eggs, and the embryos within would be safe. Because the mothers incubated their nests in this way, there was no external covering of the eggs with earth or foliage, and the dinosaur itself provided all of the heat. As Gigantoraptor was a scenic nathod, it is sensible to depict the animal with at least some covering of feathers. Its relatives, such as the much smaller Caudipteryx, have been immaculately preserved in the fossils from early Cretaceous China that show the animal's feathers in great detail right down to the dark, barred pattern that was present on its tail feathers. Gigantoraptor, however, might not have been fully covered due to its massive size. Modern depictions of Gigantoraptor show an animal pale beige or brown in color. However, this is a speculative reconstruction based on the sandy plains it lived in in life. The most reliable remains of Gigantoraptor come from the Irandabasu Formation, located in what is now Inner Mongolia, a region of China. The most recent finds suggest it may have inhabited southern Mongolia too, but for the purposes of simplicity we will cover what life would have been like in the Irandabasu Formation specifically. The rocks from this formation date back to around 95 to 96 million years ago and represent a variety of different climates and habitats in which animal life thrived. Parts of the Iran Dabasu formation were arid, sandy regions that formed deserts and plains, but a river valley adjacent to this region created a more humid environment. Forests lined this river valley which would have created a haven for many small creatures. Gigantoraptor was by far one of the most famous animals from the Iran Dabasu formation, but several genera have permeated their way into the public eye, namely Electrosaurus, a six meter long Tyrannosauroid dinosaur that may have hunted Gigantoraptor. Archaeornithomimus, a medium-sized feathered ornithomimosaur, inhabited this region too, whilst the Therizinosaurs, Erlianosaurus, and Nymongosaurus wandered through the forests like bizarre feathered ground sloths. Sonidosaurus, the sauropod also discovered by Zhu Jing, was the largest animal of the region, but not by much. It measured 9 meters in length, only slightly bigger than Gigantoraptor. The only identified ornithischians from this region are two ornithopods, the Hadrosauroids Bactrosaurus and Gilmorosaurus. The plant life of the region is only known from obscure spores and pollen grains found within the rocks, but seem to represent both angiosperm and gymnosperm plants, indicating that flowering trees may have been present in the region adding a dash of color 
to an otherwise brownish-green world. But exactly what Gigantoraptor would have eaten is unknown at this time. Scenignathid dinosaurs were over Raptorosaur theropods, all of which were highly bird-like with a covering of feathers. All of them possessed beaks that were specialized for feeding on tough plant matter or small animals, with long necks suitable for foraging or browsing for food. Whilst oviraptorids tended to be smaller, scenignathids were typically on the larger, heavier side, with gigantoraptor and the closely related bebe long standing out as relative colossi amidst the families. The most well-known scenignathid outside of Gigantoraptor was Anzu, a medium to large-sized animal native to the Hell Creek Formation. It would have lived alongside the likes of Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus in one of the most iconic and well-known landscapes of the entire Mesozoic. Scenignathids were native to the continents of North America and Asia, with the majority of finds centralized in either the northern United States of America or Central Asian nations such as Mongolia and northern China. American genera include Microvenador, Chirostenotes, Hagraphus, Sidipes, Apatoraptor, Epichirostenotes, and Scenignathus, whilst those found from fossil beds in Asia include Anomalips, Chirostenotes, Nomingia, Elmisaurus, and Scenignathasia. They ranged in size dramatically from just over one meter to up to eight and a half meters. Gigantoraptor is without a doubt one of the most unique dinosaurs of the entire Mesozoic. A perfect example of the oddities of evolution it hardly resembles the ancestral animals of the Triassic at all. Whilst this is an animal we have much to learn about, it has provided us with important trace fossils such as eggs that give us insights into how it lived on the ancient plains of Mongolia. Perhaps one day we will be able to explore this dinosaur in all of its full glory.